Can talking on a cell phone affect your brain? Find out next. People and their cell phones. Today, they are almost everywhere you look. Phones provide instant communication, which most people seem to rely on. I'd be lost. I can't live without it. <laughs> I use my phone all the time. I'm always on my phone. It's kind of pretty much important to me because it's like my lifesaver. I need my cell phone. But what happens when we lift that phone to our ear? Can the radio frequency signals emitted from the phone affect our brain? We really know relatively little about the potential effects that cell phone technologies may have on how the brain works. To find out, Dr. Nora Volkow from the National Institute on Drug Abuse and co-authors studied 47 healthy people over one year. Participants had cell phones placed on their left and right ears. One cell phone was activated but muted for 50 minutes. The other was off. Then they were tested with both cell phones turned off. Researchers used sophisticated brain imaging to monitor the amount of glucose consumed in the brain. So it's a very sensitive marker to indicate if there are changes in brain activity that may be driven by a given stimulus, which in this case was the cell phone. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. 50-minute exposure to a cell phone was associated with increases in glucose consumption by the brain, which indicates that the brain was being activated by the radio frequencies from the cell phone. This right area of the brain that was very close to the antenna show the largest increases in metabolism as compared when the telephones were off. Even though the radio frequencies that are emitted from current cell phone technologies are very weak, they are able to activate the human brain to have an effect. Researchers also say that those metabolic increases in the brain are secondary to the absorption of the radio frequency energy admitted by the cell phones. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. Exposure to cell phones, the radio frequencies from the cell phone, not, not the conversations that we're having, are able to activate the brain. The radio frequencies from the cell phones, which are very weak, and that's why many people disregarded them as being able to change brain function, indeed can change brain activity in the human brain. Uh, the color scale represents the magnitude of glucose consumption from very high to very low. And this area that you have here where the arrow is pointing is the area of the brain that, uh, that was closest to the antenna. Okay. And in this, these are the colors used to connote the magnitude of glucose utilization by the brain with red and yellow areas showing the highest uh, metabolism and lower uh, areas in blue. When you compare these two images, what you see is in this area where you have the arrow, which, actu which actually are occurring in the area closest to the antenna, that for this particular cell phone is in this whole area marked in color. In the right image, on the other hand, you are seeing the areas of the brain where there was a significant increase in metabolism when compared with the condition when the cell phone